Good afternoon, my name is Thad Letzer, and I work for a local third-party administration firm that the team here at Prosperitas Financial works with sometimes to help deliver solutions to their clients. I'm here this afternoon to share with you some updates on a pending uh, mandate that's coming up from the state of California. For all small businesses that don't currently offer a retirement plan for their employees, CalSavers is coming up and requires every small employer to sponsor some type of retirement plan. For those of you that already sponsor a plan, a 401k, a 403b, a defined benefit, a profit sharing plan, you are exempt from this mandate. For those of you though that don't yet have a retirement plan, June 30th of this year is the required deadline for any employer with 50 employees or more. Last year, employers with 100 employees or more were required to satisfy the mandate. If you don't yet have a plan and you have more than 100 employees, you should probably get on that quicker. For those of you though with just 50 employees or more, June 30th of this year is your deadline. So we just wanted to provide a gentle reminder that this deadline is coming up quickly for you and provide just a quick overview of what the Cal Savers mandate requires of you. CalSavers is nothing more than a payroll deduction Roth IRA. The contribution limit is the same as any Roth IRA that you could contribute to on your own. That contribution amount is $6,000 plus $1,000 for anyone age 50 or over. Your role as the employer is to make sure that the contributions get from the employee's paycheck to the state program at the treasurer's office. The CalSavers program is an auto-enroll program, so what's required of the employer? Your only obligations as the employer are to register for the program, and once you register, provide the state of California a list of all of your employees, names, social security numbers or tax ID numbers, and addresses. The state of California then will take the responsibility of notifying your employees directly and individually. From there, because CalSavers is an auto-enroll program, your obligation as the employer is to make sure that unless the employee opts out of the program, that you start taking the default election rate of 5% out of their paychecks as, at the designated time. Employees can opt out at any time, but unless they formally opt out of the program, your obligation is to facilitate the 5% deduction from their paycheck and remit it to the state of California. On an ongoing basis, your obligation continues uh, because this plan is an auto increase program as well. So on the anniversary date of your employee's participation in the plan, you need to make sure that you're auto increasing their contribution amount. So for this year, if they start at 5%, next year on their anniversary date of participation, up it to 6% and so on for the next year and the year after until they reach a maximum contribution rate of 8%. At any time, the employee can go to the CalSavers website and law, uh, register themselves in, opt out of the program, increase their contribution amount, decrease their contribution amount, and take full responsibility for the investment management of their program. That's really it for the CalSavers program. That's how it works. It was designed to keep administration for you as the employer to a minimum, but be advised it will be your responsibility to make sure that those deductions come out of their paychecks and get remitted to the state. For those of you that may still need to uh, qualify and register for the mandate, and uh, for any additional questions, please feel free to contact the team here at Prosperitas uh, for more information. Thank you so much.